so oops. <clears throat> as I'm currently um, unwrapping all these cute little patterns I thought I will also show you how I do it because a lot of people seem to be complaining that their schminke um, pans kind of move around so in order to prevent that this metal bit here <clears throat> when you to get the pan out you obviously have to um, push it slightly up to open it before you put it back put it in place but um, push it further lower so maybe I'll just go like that <clears throat> so push it slightly further than you see on here and that means that it will hold it in place now the way you put the pan back is start with this bottom bit first and then just clip it like that and you see it's not moving much it's kind of sitting there so this is the way to um, ensure that your pants don't move about hope this was helpful hi everyone today I will share with you my Schminke Horadam 36 half pan palette <clears throat> I have mentioned before that I bought a smaller palette 24 colors and by mistake I bought the Academy range which is their student grade so I'll just I'm not going to concentrate on it this this um, video because I want to make a separate video but basically this is what it looks like um, and yeah so having realized that I then went ahead and I bought the Horadam um, palette which is the um, artist grade so here it is like I said it's 36 colors and um, I have saved the labels and stuck them on here for a quick reference where I can see the light um, fastness of the colors. They seem to be all around three and four stars. Um, I can see two, which is the indigo and what else do we have there is five stars for the cobalt green dark so that's really good um that might be the only five star i think oh no the other five star is the yellow ochre and burnt sienna and also english venetian red and indian red and burnt umber and ivory black so the dark colors seem to be majority of them seem to be um, five stars and also it has some transparency um, information as well and the pigments obviously as well so just quickly um, I will flick through and show you the same colors that I have in my student grade the Academy um, palette are on the left and on the right we have the whole dam so you can see the difference like I said I will make a separate video um, and talk about it extensively but just in a quick glance you can see the difference here so that's that <clears throat> oh doesn't close anymore okay the um, let's move on to the palette so this is a first impressions video and um, let's see so basically the palette itself is actually quite heavy so in comparison my um, St. Petersburg White Knight which is filled with 39 um, full pans let me just show you so this is what it is it's really really filled um, so this one is lighter than the Schminke. Also keeping in mind that I went for the palette that has 12 spaces to fill. So this is what the palette looks like. When you open it up you get a swatch list. Now to mention on the swatch list is that what you might find a little bit confusing is that um, 
So first of all, the transparent colours, the yellow, the transparent yellow and transparent orange are referred to as translucent um, on the swatch card and the other thing, deep red, um, is actually uh, Paroline Maroon is referred to as Deep Red 366 and final color is Cerulean Blue Hue is referred to as Tone 481 so that's for you to keep in mind in case you get confused so let's continue with the um, palette so you open up the palette and like in the student grade the tray falls so it doesn't hold up in some palettes it holds up this one it doesn't so that could be a a pro or a con um, I am so if you like to make big pools of water when you're mixing colors then that would definitely be a con for you because it obviously can run down and mix all together so it becomes a mess but if you are someone who doesn't work with big pools I don't think it's a big problem for me I found that actually I like it because I can rest um, my uh, sketchbook for example here and be close to the colors and use this tray for the mixing so to me that's not an issue what is an issue however is the fact that these edges are sharp they're not rolled so these edges right here are really sharp and it kind of I find it slightly off-putting just because it's an expensive palette and I didn't expect it to be like that so even in the student grade the corners are rolled and not only does it look a lot more um, I don't know better quality and just well made it's it's you know when you touch it it's not unpleasant like it is here the other thing as well <coughs> to mention is that when you are swatching or not swatching when you're using the color this bit moves a lot and it actually is very loud imagine this it is quite annoying um, what you could do potentially is take this insert out and rest it somewhere else and then put this tray somewhere else and mix the colors then but you kind of you have to find a lot of space this way so either you can put some adhesive on the bottom of the pan or on these ridges and just kind of make it stick there so it's more permanent um, or I don't know stick some tissue in there so it doesn't make that much noise something to be um, done about this so moving on to colors so these are my, thir my 36 half pans and like I said I went for the palette that had also space for another 12 which for me is great because if you have seen my previous videos um, about um, Daniel Smith palette and the um, White Knights you will realize that I once I settle in with the palette I start moving colors around taking some out that came with it and then adding some new colors and just make it more personalized um, so this is exactly what I'm intending to do but um, I will you know do that probably within the next um, few months or so so I'm not in a hurry to do that just yet um, and what else is there to say um, yeah that's I think that's about it for the palette the colors themselves let's talk about the colors so I haven't done um, the swatch card yet which I want to do on camera for you to see how the colors behave and but what I have done is a very quick reference to look at the pigments so most of them are single pigments and those that I have highlighted with the green the yellow highlighter are two pigments so let's um, say so there are ultramarine violet two pigments there PB15 and PB29 um, indigo two 
Um, what else do we have here? Cerulean blue hue is a two. Prussian green is two. By the way, Prussian green is a very beautiful color. Um, May green, Indian red, burnt sienna, olive green, yellowish, and permanent green olive. All of them have two. And then even, and then for the for the four, they have even three pigments. So the mountain blue has a PV5, which is a pigment white, so it's going to be quite opaque. PB29, PG7. For June Brilliant Dark, um, it's a also PW6, so also a white pigment. P V um, sorry PY53, PBR24. And for the Naples yellow has also three PW6 again a white pigment PY53 PBR24. Um, I think with Naples yellow it is expected that it's going to have a few pigments in there. And then sepia brown it has also three pigments PB15 colon one PBR7 PBK9. Now the pigment brown 7 and pigment black 9 I have seen this sepia combination pigment combination in a lot of brands so that doesn't surprise me but they have also added the other one the PB15 colon 1 so that's just a quick glance um, a very <laughs> complicated complicated looking um, swatch with all these numbers but yes I will go ahead and do the swatches and um, see how that goes. Thanks for watching.